So I've now had the opportunity to watch several reaction videos. This seems to be the new craze now, reaction videos to another video. The biggest thing in social media for a minute, for a hot minute, was Donald Glover's, aka Childish Gambino's, This Is America. Now, I just want to react to a few of the videos that I've been watching, because uh, I've really been enjoying it, and just offer you a, a very brief assessment of my, um, of my opinion. Um, because after all, that's all we can offer, because this is in fact art, um, and art as one of the recent videos I just said, you know, a father and son, really interesting to watch how different people react to this. And the father's like, you know, he was shocked at the stuff as, you know, a middle-aged black man, but he's like, listen, this is art and it's meant to make us think. Now, I watched another father-son. This was a, a two white men. Um, maybe the father was, again, middle-aged, that could be 40-something, 50-something, and the son was clearly in his early 20s. And one thing that I noticed uh, very early on, you know, these are really cool guys and I could see that the, the son was a bit more switched on and that they have a good rapport to, to, to open up these kinds of uh, discussions about difference. It's clear that it's a part of their channel. What I did find interesting, though, was in relation to this video, the father said when he saw the kids, uh, he thought they, he couldn't tell where it was. You know, he's like, where are they? Because they're somewhere in the world. And none of the clues about this is American, all the American cars and this American format of music, uh, these different American dances, you know, Americanized dances, none of that made any sense to him to say that this is probably America. Because when he saw the kids, he's like, oh, you know, kids in Africa <laughs> wear, wear uniforms. So this is someone in rural America who's so, in a sense, detached from urban America that he doesn't even know that in urban America, in many parts of people wear uniforms. But it was also the fact that his first, his, he was drawn first to Africa when seeing black people, as opposed to accepting that this is a diverse nation. Even people who are switched on carry that implicit bias. And then the second part about, um, and this is what really gets me. When he goes to shoot the church choir, I think most commentators immediately saw this as, as a mirror of the church of Dylan Roof. But again, this guy, even though he knows that he's looking at art, he couldn't imagine that the artist would put himself in, as, uh, in different people's perspectives. You know, so now I'm acting like this and I'm acting like this, and then you could see that voice change even within, within the um, video. So no, you know, sometimes he's being me the rapper, and then he's saying this is how we act as America. And then you see him make that switch in, in, in positions very often. But if you only see him as a black man, you don't even see him as an entertainer or as an artist, as someone who could develop a critical perspective. You just see him as that must be his life. And that's the biggest thing I want to take home about this is that as an artist and as a black artist, we are able, we are. I mean, it's, it's silly to say that that wouldn't exist, but I want us to be aware of those kinds of implicit biases so that when we see such critical work like this, and this is deep. We are going to be talking about this for years to come, that we can talk about it, that we can have a critical discussion about it, about the issues, and not just who is this black person. You know, they did the same thing with Precious, like uh, Monique wasn't acting, that's just who she was. There's those eyes that are so scary. And to close, uh, I can't play the music because I don't want to get in copyright trouble. I just like to do my Favorite dance. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, that brother got down.